the ground heat is uh, steady uh, if uh, you go uh, below the surface 80 meters, uh, having the average temperature of the surface air. Now, if you follow the uh, red air arrow, you can see the movements uh, when the uh, solar room air is heated up and then uh, giving us a lifting power to the air. Now, this is the basement to get uh, the, that sort of system. Uh, just like a huge uh, square uh, box uh, uh, made, uh, uh, constructed by uh, concrete blocks. Uh, three point uh, five meters uh, high and uh, eight meters by ten meters the, as the section of the drawing shows uh, the concrete pipes are running in the ground for ten meters in the depths of uh, three point two meters uh, here in at Kaiwaka, uh, this is just the waste of money. Uh, we don't need uh, any this sort of system uh, here at Kaiwaka. But uh, like in Japan, who has uh, such you know, two extreme uh, hot and cold seasons, this is uh, meaningful. So here uh, at Kaiwaka, I use uh, the, uh, this space for the tool uh, keeping, food storage, seed bank. Uh, uh, we got a nice uh, harvest of kiwi fruits and uh, sweet potatoes. Uh, now this is the outlet of a cool tube. This side is not used. Uh, the top, uh, the bent top is uh, capped. The same, uh, the cool tubes are uh, on the other wall, other end wall. They are uh, inactive. Now he's explaining about the location of ventilation holes uh, on the floor of the living room. Uh, now the cool air in summer in this uh, basement is lifted through the ventilation holes. Now cool tubes uh, under 2.3 meters uh, below the surface uh, uh, in the other side are active and the fresh air uh, is uh, taken through the vents uh, and uh, coming through the cool tubes and uh, even uh, with the uh, basement floor the air exchange its heat and uh, this floor opening uh, it comes out and then it moves to uh, through the uh, ventilation holes and then to the solar room where produces uh, it produces uh, uh, lifting power uh, having the solar energy into the air making the air very hot so the air uh, tended to run away to through the uh, chimney in the solar room. Uh, now uh, the air temperature in the basement changes uh, from 12 to 16 degrees. So we can use the air temperature uh, of the basement uh, in such a way. Now this is a thermocouple to measure the temperature. This is the humidity humidity sensor 
This is called a globe thermometer. Uh, the black surface absorbs the radiation into heat, then the air temperature inside is raised or cooled. Then the globe uh, thermometer has the same thermocouple and uh, with a comparison how much radiation we get because we feel the warmth uh, by, uh, the, from the air around, humidity, air flow, and uh, uh, radiation, just like uh, the uh, radiation from the sun. We don't feel uh, the warmth from the air, but we feel the warmth from the solar radiation onto our skin. So for the indoor climate, we need uh, those four factors. So we have a variety of sensors distributed in the house. The, on the wall, now in the kitchen, in the bedrooms, uh, we don't use the measure the result uh, so much, but still a lot of uh, subject we can uh, solve uh, uh, with those data.